Hello and welcome to Geo's add-on tutorials. We are working with Pitbull 4 and this is module 3 titled Layouts and how to swing them. So what I want to focus on here is layouts specifically and how to use those to best advantage and exactly how a layout applies to the various unit frames. In order to do that, what I'm going to do is enable a few more unit frames here. All I have right now enabled is my player unit frame. I'm also going to enable the target and the target's target for this tutorial. So let's go into the units section here. Go to target, enable that, and target's target, and enable that as well. So, so far, nothing has changed on my screen because I don't actually have anything targeted. But if I were to target the innkeeper here, you can see my target come up. And if I target myself with F1, you can see my target frame and my target of target. Since I'm targeting myself, you'll see both. As you'll notice right now, all three of them are using the same exact layout because they, they look identical. And where that is assigned is in the units section as well. Each one has the unit, and then right here is the layout. Right now I only have one layout, normal. So let's change that. So to copy a layout, what you do is you first select in the current layout, which there is only one at the moment, whatever layout is closest to what you're trying to accomplish with the new one, and I'll explain why in just a moment. So let's go right here to where it says new layout, type the name of the new layout, I'm going to call it target, and click OK or hit enter. That creates a new layout, which is an exact copy of whatever layout you previously had selected, and then automatically moves to that layout. So you're now working with the target layout instead of with the normal layout. As you can see, they're both available here. And in order to make some of the points I want to with this tutorial, I'm also going to create a target of target layout. And again, hit OK. So now we have three layouts to choose from in here. So let's make a change to the target layout. I'm going to turn off all texts. That'll be my change for the target layout. The way I do that is I go to the texts tab of layer one tabs. And then in that one, I select each text one by one. So combat text and uncheck enable. I'm going to go through that one at a time. Now you may notice, as we're going through this, that none of the texts down here are changing. And I'll explain why in just a moment. Almost done. Okay. So the reason for that is because even though I did create a new layout called target, I haven't actually assigned it to the target unit frame yet. And again, if we go back to units here, and I select the target unit frame, I need to actually change the layout to the new target layout in order to get that change to take place. As soon as I click here, these texts should disappear. And there they go. So that's how I apply a new layout to that unit frame. And I'm going to continue with the target of target. Now, the thing to note here is that, again, I have not assigned it to my target of target frame yet, but the texts are still enabled on this frame. I'm going to leave them enabled. However, in this case, I'm going to change the size of the bar. I'm going to change the width and the height. I'm going to reduce both. And again, those changes haven't taken effect yet because I haven't assigned the layout. And I'm going to turn a few indicators on. And the best way to see this is actually changing the config mode back to solo. And then let's turn on, let's say, the combat icon. Oh, who knows? Let's say, oh, let's turn the portrait on just to make it interesting. And now I'm going to go back to my units change it to target of target and again select that 
new layout. You can see that it's much smaller as I change that. The portrait is on and the combat icon is now enabled. So this is the basics of layouts. In the layout editor is where you control making the new layout and then changing whatever it is that you feel is appropriate for that particular unit frame. And then in units is where you assign the layout to the particular unit frame. And as I said before, when you're copying layouts, it's best to start from whatever layout is closest to what you want the new unit frame to look like. So for example, if I wanted, let's say I'm going to work with my focus frame next. So I go to my units, I turn on my focus frame, enable. Here it is hiding in the background here. Notice that it looks like, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. It isn't actually, it doesn't look like the other frames at the moment. The only reason for that is because I don't actually have a focus target selected. However, I can change that. Now I have my, uh, let's see, Innkeeper Jovia here is set as my focus target. And I want to make a new layout for focus. What I'm going to try and do is set that to be closest to the target frame, because my target frame has no texts, and then just resize it. So I'm creating a new layout. Again, I have not assigned it yet. And I'm going to change the size. Let's make it smaller. And now that I've done that, I go into Units. I've got my focus frame selected. Here it is. And now I'm going to assign that to the focus layout. And as you can see, it looks just like the target. No text, but it is smaller. So again, basic principle create the new layout using the model or the, the previous layout that is closest to what you're going to be using next, make a copy, and then make your modifications. Once you've done that, you can assign that in the units section and carry on from there. That's really all I wanted to say about layouts. I hope this has been instructive for you. This is one of the things that's probably the most confusing for people when they're first starting out with Pitbull, and hopefully this has cleared that up for you. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully you'll come back for some of the additional modules. Thanks.